Welcome to the complete story for the Trinity War. Now, in our continued attempt to get you caught up enough so you can jump into current comics, we are now reaching the first big event of the New 52, and the event that Pandora speaks of at the end of Flashpoint. If you remember at the end of our Flashpoint complete story, Barry has merged all the DC universes into one to stop an oncoming threat. Well, let's see what this threat that we've been waiting for is. Now, this story has been in the works of the New 52 universe since they launched Flashpoint, so I will try to cover some things that have changed I know that's Red Hood on the left, or I'm assuming it's Red Hood on the left, but that really looks like Deadpool. The DC status quo as we get to them. Our story begins with the revelation of who Pandora really is after all this time. It turns out that in the year 8000 BCE, she first encountered Pandora's box and she opened it, oh, unleashing the seven. I thought she was going to be like the, meta the metamorphosis, physically fate of the actual Pandora's box, but no. So she was the person that opened it. The seven, seven deadly sins. Yeah, I read the story. I'm, I have a bit of education. ...that she released due to the world. Oh, that sucks. After these events happen, she wanders the world the entire time, trying to find a way to undo what she's done so that she can finally rest. And she's told that if she can find someone of pure good or pure evil, they can open the box so that Ooh, she can put the... I have a pretty good list. Superman, pure good. Joker, Dark Side. I know much more pure evil than pure good, and that's very sad. Joker, Dark Side, Bane. No, no, no. Okay, maybe it's not. I don't. That's much, but still. Sins back inside. Her idea is that Superman must be pure good, so she brings it to him to open. But this doesn't go as planned. It goes crazy and tries to possess him. Luckily, Pandora takes it away before it can get too bad, but this leaves a weird taste in Superman's What's mouth. Pandora, then? What's we now cut to Shazam, him? who has finally defeated his arch nemesis Black Adam in his own solo story before this. Okay, He's taking yeah, Black Adam's like body to Kondok to bury his old nemesis, but what he doesn't realize is that Kondok doesn't want superheroes on its soil, and by being there, he's actually starting a diplomatic incident. Superman and the Justice League come in to confront Shazam, and as the Justice League doesn't really know who he is in this timeline, a simple misunderstanding oh, yeah. escalates into a giant superhero fight rather quickly. This allows Amanda Waller the perfect opportunity to test her new Justice League of America. You see, Amanda Waller and the US government have built their own Justice League, comprised of superheroes that they feel can defeat the members of the Justice League. The Justice League of America shows up during the Justice Oh, so the Justice League of America is how they brought him to the present world, present time, because I see that Stargirl, Hawkeye, is that uh, Amanda Waller's right hand, person with the mask, I don't know, and I forgot her name in the back, and the dude with the green helmet, I forgot, I have no idea who that is. Justice League and Shazam fight and demands that everybody step down so that the Justice League of America can escort them off of Kondok soil. But this is where things get interesting. Superman's powers suddenly go out of control and his heat vision randomly goes off killing poor Dr. Light. Once everyone realizes what's going on, Superman submits himself to the JLA and Argus to be taken in. But what I don't understand is, so when Pandora tried to give it to Superman to, to put the sins back into the box, what possessed him? Because isn't that the whole point of the story? It's the since got out of the box. So what was left? The, this, is the box actually possessed? Sentient? Is something with the box? He doesn't know what's going wrong with his powers, and he's hoping that, at least contained, they can figure it out for him. At this point, everybody breaks off to get their own answers as to what's going on. This basically mixes and Batman matches all of the right superhero times. teams. But in the end, we have Wonder Woman's group, Batman's group, and eventually Superman's group on different missions. After a series of dead ends, everyone happen. realizes that their ideas aren't right, and they have no idea what's going on and how to fix this situation. Wonder Woman ends up teaming up with the Justice League Dark to find Pandora, <gasps> and she- Oh, the Justice League Dark, this is the group. I if, I if I had unlimited budget and I could buy any comics, I want to buy Justice League Dark comics and all of the characters, because Constantine, I think, is probably one of my favorite DC characters, and I want to learn the lore and the history of him so bad. And oh my goodness, I want Justice the I can't wait for Justice League Mutark movie that James Gunn is gonna do. That world is so interesting to me. She believes that Superman's brief encounter with the Pandora's box is the cause. Superman teams up with Question, and this gets him freed from the Argus imprisonment. Batman travels to the afterlife to question Dr. Light. But nothing comes out of any of their How trips. Really During the all of this though, Pandora is on her own mission to find somebody to open the box. And she goes to Vandal Savage, and eventually, she ends up at Lex Luthor. 
she oh, figures no, if she can't find someone of pure good, to to she will find someone of pure evil. pure evil. Well, Wonder Woman and the Justice League Dark are still looking for Pandora, and they confront her at Lex Luthor's prison. Wonder Woman insists that they're going to take the box to cure Superman, but once she touches it, it possesses her warlike nature. And as she suddenly becomes evil, oh, all no. hell breaks loose as Wonder Woman's team tries to save each other by taking the box from each other so that they can't be possessed. No, that sounds like a bad game of hot potato. Keep trying to get the box and another person becomes evil, so you try to take the box from that person, but the next person becomes evil. So, but what the hell is the box? What the hell is this freaking box? How is this the Trinity War? But what this does is possess the people grabbing the box. So one by one, Wonder Woman and her group in the Justice League Dark are being possessed by Pandora's this box. But the worst case scenario happens when Shazam touches the box. The it causes ripples throughout all of the magical planes and gives him the appearance is... and the attitude of Black Adam. The group continues to fight um, over the yeah, box with everyone sense. knocking each other around just to get their hands on that power until Zantana shows up and knocks There's everyone away from the box. But even that's not enough, as everyone recovers far too quickly. It comes down to Constantine teleporting that's in and taking thing. the box and asking simply, in a very John Constantine way, Miss me? Miss me he not? teleports himself, the box, and Zantana to the Temple of Hephaestus. What? Temple Here, of Hephaestus. Madame Xanadu explains that this whole time, Pandora had it wrong. Pandora's box is not some all-powerful evil, and it in fact did not house the sins. Pandora's box is actually a doorway to other dimensions. While this is being explained, all of the groups, Batman, Wonder Woman's, and Superman's, arrives at the temple. With everyone here, Firestorm, the hero who can make any element from anything, states that Superman is actually radiating kryptonite, his one weakness. With a little help from Element Woman, they find a small sliver of kryptonite in his bloodstream, which has apparently been causing his weakened that state to the point where he can't... What, what does it have to do with the box and going and actually, it being actually a doorway to other dimensions? So the sins came from another dimension that makes sense as well. He control his own powers. Then Adam steps up and says that she put it into Superman's brain back in Kondok. With everyone asking her why oh, she would betray the them, water. the Outsider comes out of the shadows. The Outsider is a villain who has been seen in the shadows up until now in the New 52, but he hasn't done anything. He walks over and takes Pandora's box and says, This box isn't magic. It's science and it was created on his world, and only someone from his world can actually open this. So all those theories of pure good and pure evil, they aren't true, it isn't gonna work. Adam and himself came to this world when the Justice League defeated Darkseid and weakened the barriers between the dimensions. Oh, wow. But why are Outsider and Adam causing all of this confusion? Well, Outsider destroys Pandora's box, opening the portal to his home world, What's this Earth 3. Right? What threat could possibly be coming from Earth-3 that we would need every hero for? It's what could possibly need Justice all of the Justice Leagues? What could possibly be so evil? The Crime Syndicate. The Ultraman, Justice Superwoman, League. Owlman, Johnny Quick, Power Ring, and Deathstorm arrive through that doorway. That's but that's green. not all. Adam jumps over to them going by her real name, Atomica. And we discover that the Outsider is actually Earth-3's Alfred Pennyworth. Then Cyborg's body actually rips itself off of his human body and forms up as Grid. Lastly, they're pulling a prisoner behind them, but we don't know who that is yet. They step forward and they claim that this Earth is their own, and they proceed to lay waste to all three Justice this Leagues. So, awesome. so I know that this story is kind of confusing, but here's the quick rundown. Basically, when the Flashpoint happened, all the universes were merged into one. This got things moving because Pandora and Pandora's box were kind of brought into the mainstream DC universe. Then the Justice League rippled through all of the dimensions by defeating Darkseid. This allowed Outsider and Atomica to come to the mainstream universe where a lot of things have been happening, such as the formation of Justice League Dark, the formation of Justice League of America to stop the Justice League if they ever became bad, and the Justice League deciding to invite more people into their teams. Eventually, Pandora, wanting to find an end to her suffering, decided to find a way to get the box opened. Seeking out Superman as a pure good, she decided to let him touch the box, which started everything going on here because everyone assumed that that box is what caused his powers to go crazy. In the end, all that happened was the Outsider broke the box, freeing the Crime Syndicate, which was brought here because the Justice League stopped Darkseid and Flashpoint merged all the universes. Everything is coming together. So where do we go now? Well, our story doesn't end. You see, the story then goes over into the next crossover event, Forever Evil. And in Forever Evil, well, we don't know what happens. It's been delayed for a few months, and as of the date of me making this video, it has not been completed. 
But once it is, we'll give you the video so you know exactly what happened with the crime syndicate, Justice League, Justice League of America, and the Justice League Dark. Thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you next time here at Comic Story.